going to go to Costco this morning, plea yet, a computer chair, that was mine, now it's Jess's, so now I need another one. Jess missed the first left, now we gotta go to the second left. We went to Costco today and honestly, a little overrated. I mean, I did get some cool things. I got like eight toothbrushes for like 12 bucks. So like I won't have to buy a toothbrush literally for the rest of the year, which is great. Got a huge box of buttered croissants. Another plus. But outside of that, I spent like $270 and didn't really get too much, but still cool to have a Costco card now, right? Cause now we can just go in there at any time and so, Thanks to Jess, I still got one more piece of chicken. But I think I'm gonna opt. Ow. And I actually have to write some schedules for work. And because I put my foot in my mouth and I told Jerry that I would do it for him. I was trying to be a nice guy. I bought a new toaster, it was like 25 bucks, but I needed to replace the toaster that I currently have because it is disgusting. So let's get this one plugged in. Toaster. Oh, and it doesn't have the shit leaking out of the bottom. Well, first off, five year warranty. Got cancel, bagel, and you got some type of like digital screen here. It looks pretty good though. Alright, toaster's up. Some beautiful out. <clears throat> Door open today. Oh no, it's actually long. Alright, so this morning, it's Thursday guys. Good morning, how are you? Hope everybody's doing good. I'm headed into work to write the schedules quickly. Right now it's 7.35. I wanna be out of there with driving there, driving home, stopping to get coffees, just going in, sitting down, getting the schedules done. I wanna be out of there by 9, 9.30. It's not a super eventful day today, obviously with COVID and things still locked down. You know, curbside pickup is so entertaining. But I don't wanna stop vlogging just because there's not that much going on in terms of being able to go out. I still wanna continue to do this and keep going and trying to just create videos for myself first and foremost and then for you guys so hopefully we can make a day out of this so i forgot to get Savannah coffee hopefully she doesn't notice <laughs> it doesn't seem like she will when i was coming in her and kevin were going out for a smoke and they already had one from jerry so they're not going to forget that i didn't get him one it's actually nice and sunny today i didn't get a chance to ask kevin if he's going to fly his drone today because he's been waiting for this weather Probably should never do this. Do not vlog and drive. It's very dangerous. The bathroom break is in order. Oh, come on. Chair, or I'm oh, getting my chair. Oh, so you're going full history now. Yeah, I mean, we decided to order some Popeyes. We both love the spicy chicken sandwich with a little bit of mayo and a little bit of pickles. Nice, I gotta wash my hands. Gotta wash my hands. Normally, I get diet soda or Coke Zero. Got Canada Dry. So, just got Coke. <laughs> I was gonna say again. Putting them in the bathroom because it just made no sense to go from like most of the stuff I do in my bathroom, which is like brush my teeth, do my hair, shower, to being there on the top of the fridge. And then it takes some time for them to dissolve. You can bite it and just swallow it. That's not really my style. So I just moved them to the bathroom. It seemed easier. And it's proving to be more efficient this way anyway. These are the only ones of the V12 that you can actually take a little water with and they dissolve instantly. Uh, oh. 
This is part of my dinner from last night. I ordered like buffalo chicken bites. I guess they turned it into like drenched in cheese type of dish, which was ideally not what I would want considering I'm lactose, but I'm gonna eat it. It's actually not bad, but there's nothing more I hate than getting something I didn't order, especially when, you pay, especially when you're paying for it. But I'm gonna eat anyway, because I don't like to waste food. Ugh. Look at that's all cheese, man. Whew. I had the fight to get the chicken out. Gotta get the mask. Never tried to put a mask on with one hand. <laughs> all right, oh, hold on. My ear ears are too hairy, so. Oh, yes. Got it, all right, let's get going. So we got it upstairs using our trusty wagon. But now the fun part, putting it together. It shouldn't take that long, it's just the base. You'll see there's like no handles on it or anything like that. And just a headrest, so let's put on, put on some television. And uh, let's get this thing put together. Get it out of the wagon. Oh shit. Couple of heavy duty pieces. The frame. Whatever the hell this is. The back. Ooh! And there's the big piece. Ooh, wow. That feels kind of nice. Hmm. All right. Oh, well, that's different. Oh, wow. It leans back all the way. Eh? I'm trying to figure something out here. It's not bad, though. It's comfy. I like that there's no armrest. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Move it? Yeah. Oh, the lumbar. Where? Yeah, like up more right there. Yeah, right there is good. Oh yeah, that's good. Ooh, this chair is just, oh, it's so good. It's, if you sit up right, it's, it's good for your back. You got the lumbar, it's right there. And then if I just want to lean back and take a breather, I can.